For WEVN Boston, I'm Robert Wilson at PAX East 2019. We asked some fans how they're feeling about the convention. Here's what they had to say. Really, it's mostly the environment. You get to see cool games and stuff like that. Some people that you don't know, some indie developers, up and comers. And then you also some big box games. It's, um, it's a cool experience. You get to test out what's coming out in the future in the industry. And you just get to hang out with people that really play what you play. And it's a cool, just more of a community type thing, really. Cybel Pickering says she was at PAX to see panel discussion with some of her favorite internet celebrities. It makes me happy that people can see the people that they idolize. Cybel says she was excited to see Jack Septicai, a YouTuber with over 21 million subscribers. The fans come to see their idols, and the idols come to greet their fans. Three of those who stream video games on the site Mixer say they came for one reason. Because I get to see my family that I don't normally get to see. I mean, it's kind of the family reunion that happens every couple of months. People choose to spend time with us in the digital realm, and you get to know them very well, and you don't get to spend physical time with them. So being able to be in the same place and spend physical time with them, that's my digital family. Despite consistent attendance from fans who attend PAX from all over the country, the convention has evolved. It started off like very big as like big box games, and it's slowly starting to see that it's starting to become more indie related, and I'm fine with that. But it also still attracts newcomers. Uh, I've always wanted to come here since I was like a little kid. I first found out about it. And so like for the past, I've been trying to get here all my life, and I finally have money now to go, so now I'm here. For WEBN Boston, I'm Robert Wilson.